What's going on, YouTube world? This is your guy, Sills the Man, and I know it's Sunday. I usually don't post on Sunday, but today is Sunday. This is the Lord's Day, and because it's the Lord's Day, uh, I just want to give my my little bit of word for y'all, just a word of encouragement and healthy mentality when it comes to relationships, man. And for me, my relationship with God has been the most important relationship in my life. I wish I can show y'all like just a movie of the things I used to go through, the things I was involved in, the things I was exposed to, the possible life-changing mistakes I almost made. But guess what? God always found a way to step in and help a brother out, man. And to be transparent with you and completely honest, there's certain parts of the Bible or certain verses in the Bible I kind of always confuse me. And some of them still do, you know, and I, and I um, have to reach out for you know, guidance to understand certain things. But there are other verses that literally saved my life, like in all seriousness. There are certain texts in the Bible that resonated with me deeply, you know? So I will always have a great appreciation for the good book. I wouldn't know where I would be without them. So because it's Sunday, I just want to give y'all some Sunday energy. Um, this video, I'm about to show y'all, it's a quick video. Um, I actually did this video for a conference that I hosted uh, a couple weeks back. Shout out to Miss Ada for the for the lookout. Really appreciate you. The theme of it was understanding the mind of good men. So, you know, she reached out to me. But specifically, how to have a great relationship with a man and also understanding them in the same token. Everyone there thought it was uh, a very uh, helpful video. And I just want to share that with y'all, my YouTube family. Because in order to have a great relationship, a healthy relationship with a man, you got to understand how men think. And it has to be reciprocated. Us men, we have to understand how y'all think. But I'll let the video explain what I'm trying to say without starting a whole nother YouTube video. But enjoy the short video. I hope y'all enjoy y'all Sunday, and I will see y'all next week. Goodbye. Welcome. My name is Sills the Man. The theme for tonight's event is, what do men think about the three C's? Communication, commitment, and compromise. Good stuff. But before we start, Let's dive in a little bit into my interpretation and the difference between how men think and women think. When I ask you what's one plus one equals, most likely all of you will say two. But let's break it down and how this may look based on gender. If I ask a man what's one plus one, he will most likely say two. But this is what it looks like in a man's head. If I ask a woman the same question, what's one plus one, this is what it will look like in her head. Well, look at this. Both genders coming up with the same answer, but the process looks so vastly different from each other. Ladies and some gentlemen, this here is a visual representation in the difference of how both men and women think. God knew exactly what he was doing when he made man and women. Think about it. Most men you come across base their decisions and thinking on logic and straightforwardness, while most women base their decisions and thinking on emotional discernment. I mean, it makes sense. Without logical thinking, man would not be able to protect the family and be the head as God saw fit. And without emotional discernment, women would not be able to care and nurture her family and be that peace at home as God saw fit. In fact, this is what the world would look like if all men were like women or if all women were like men. Thank you, God. So the problem and the reason for a lot of unsuccessful unions and failures in relationships is one, the man and or woman is not playing their biological parts in their relationship. And two, the man and woman believing that one plus one equals two. Let me explain. See, we are too focused on getting the answer right that we forget to tend to the actual problem. We are too focused on winning arguments with our significant other, but forgetting to tend to the actual issue, which is the cause of the argument. 
we are too focused on why do we think so differently and not focused enough on we need to find a way to understand our God-given differences. The secret to understanding men, along with the three C's, the secret to having a successful relationship with men, the secret to a lifelong happiness with a man is understanding that one plus one does not equal two, but one plus one equals one. Matthew 19, four through six says, he answered, have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female and said, therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. Well, would you look at that? The answer to a lot of the struggles in today's relationships is right here in this verse. Having a goal to become one with your man and vice versa has to be the goal or failure is soon to follow. Being open to understanding each other and realizing God made you two differently in divine order is a must or failure is imminent. Understanding that as long as there is no healthy communication, loyal commitment, and balanced compromise, then failure will be the result. So now when I ask you, what's one plus one in the realm of your relationships? What is the answer? 